As humanity gets closer and closer to building colonies on the moon and beyond, is it time to revisit the taboo topic, sex in space? A group of Canadian academics think so, as they talk to Mike.com about their recent paper entitled The Case for Space Sexology, in which they call for a whole new field of research to be dedicated to the study of extraterrestrial intimacy and sexuality. Sure, there's been lots of rumors about astronauts boning in space before, but NASA and other space agencies have always denied it. And in fact, they seem kind of bent out of shape whenever anyone asks about it. As NASA Commander Alan Poindexter once told reporters, We are a group of professionals. Personal relationships are not an issue. We don't have them, and we won't. Most probably, NASA and other space agencies have traditionally not wanted to talk about it because they largely rely on state funding, and any serious talk about boning in space will immediately become fodder for the media and for any government workers who want to stymie any funding efforts. In other words, NASA and others think it would create a credibility problem bringing up boning in space, so their stance has historically always just been they call for abstinence on missions. As for private companies like SpaceX or Blue Origin, well, none of them have got to looking into the issue either. Musk said his job is just figuring out the hardware needed to get to Mars cheaply, quickly, and reliably not figuring out how our intimate hardware will work once we get off planet. So, no one wants to talk about it, basically. Maybe it's just that they all know that it's not really a horny environment up there in space, NASA and all the people involved, right? It's hard to bump and grind up there when, if you do, you repel each other across the cabin. And we all know how liquids float around in low gravity, too, which, yeah, gross, right? Not really the hottest situation. <laughs> or maybe it is with all the intrigue and, you know, the close quarters and, you know, all the, all the things on the line. Maybe that's really hot. Who knows? There's also the possibility that when the time comes for humans to live off planet and populate other worlds other than this one, we might just send up a bunch of chicks with vials of sperm for some artificial insemination situations. Who knows? With all the sciencing going on, will we even bother with sex at that point? I mean, we're practically getting rid of it down here now anyway. Yeah. So, we'll have to wait and see how it all rolls out. But one astronomer did famously tell Men's Health that he woke up with, quote unquote, a boner that he could have drilled through kryptonite many times up there in space. So, if that's true, well, maybe the Canadian academics have a point, and the topic is worth looking into.